Hey there, it's Sherry with another party tip for you as you get started with your 31 business. Now, I have to admit, I am not a game player. I am competitive when it comes to my sales and my 31 business, but I am not really somebody who likes to play games. I guess, unless it's Scrabble or Bananagrams or doing a puzzle with somebody else and trying to finish before they do. I really, you know, I really just don't do a lot of games at my parties, however, Booking games at your parties is a great way to get started and get comfortable with your voice and your words and the way that you are interacting with your crowd. It's really great to have good structure as you get started with your business. And if, to be sure that you're booking at the party, a booking game is probably going to help get you started. Now, once you've been doing it for six and a half years like I have, Maybe you're not playing as many booking games, but that's because your voice and your conversation has been just fine-tuned over the time that you've been partying, that you maybe are having those conversations and people are partying with you, be partying and booking parties with you before you even get to the game part of your event. But the one game that is a foolproof way for me to book parties is to do um, some tickets, as well as to play the dice game. So I'm gonna talk about those two really quickly. Now, the tickets, super easy. Just go to a party store and pick up a roll of tickets. You're gonna notice that there's a tear one and keep one for yourself coupon, okay? So I love these because while I'm doing my demonstration, I, I will let them know that anybody that asks questions about the business or asks questions about being a hostess or asks questions about anything 31 business or booking related will get a ticket. So I will tear up a ticket and I'll keep one coupon and then I will, oh, these are not tear friendly. And then I will give one coupon to the customer at the party who's asked the question. Now, they can get as many tickets, there is no limit. Once they have all of their tickets in their hands and we are done with our demonstration and we're done with our conversations about the products and I'm about ready to let them loose so that they can start um, shopping from the catalog, that is the point at which I will say, okay, who has the most tickets? Well, the person that asked the most questions and wants the most tickets, they don't even know what their tickets are for yet. But the person that asked the most questions and has the most tickets, I am going to give them an opportunity. They are going to be able to trade those tickets in for like $1 off their hostess credit at their party when they book for each ticket that they have. So if they have 10 tickets, I am going to let them trade in those tickets for $10 in additional host credit at their party when their party closes. Now I do have some stipulations. Their party does need to be an in-home party and it does need to close with um, at least $200 in sales so that it's an actual party. Now, $10 might be too much for you to give into an offer like this. Now, I really take a look at how much am I going to make from the party and how much is the booking worth to me. If I don't have any bookings on my calendar, it might be worth it for me to send, spend 10 to $15 on a booking. Because in reality, I know that if I can get the people to the party, I can get additional bookings once we're at the party by playing games like this or by having conversations. So sometimes when my calendar is completely empty, I might use a cash incentive like this towards their hostess credit, so it's all going back into the business, or I might even take that and not put it towards host credit, but I might actually just place it as a customer order on their party, because that way I'm going to get a portion of it back in my commission check, so it's not really like I'm spending an actual $10 but people love the tickets. It's something about a raffle ticket and that chance to win something. Now, I might give additional prizes. Um, if they choose not to book a party, I might just use that towards, you know, oh, you can redeem all 10 of those for either a key fob or um, free personalization. You can make it up as you go. It doesn't have to be something very specific, okay? So you can also take a look at your party. How many people are there? Are people interested in booking parties with you? What are the chances that you are going to get a party? This way I can be can kind of read the room and see what's going on, and then I can decide what my actual award will be for the tickets because I'm not telling them why they're getting tickets. They just, that's the excitement and that's the little surprise that comes with it. Another thing that you can do to get those bookings at the party is play the dice game. Now the way the dice game works is, and I don't actually have my envelopes with me because they're actually in my party um, set, which is 
stored in the trunk of my Jeep right now. So um, the way that this works is you have envelopes and inside each envelope has a little like folded note card that will have an award on it. So it will be your prize. So it could be um, book a party, win a prize. Um, it could be um, just straight up win a prize or it could be uh, the grand prize. And so there is a breakdown online. If you just Google dice game for home parties, um, you will find a breakdown of how to put what award in which envelope. So the way it works is it's a simple dice game if you've ever played a matching dice game for a holiday party with a gift exchange. You're basically taking your dice in a like pie tin or whatever cup and you're passing it around to every single person in the room. Now the key is to make every single person touch the dice. Now, once you get those dice in your hand, you're gonna be ready to roll, right? So it's going to encourage them and change their mindset to thinking, hey, I wanna play this game and I've gotta roll the dice. So you pass it around to every single person. They either have to play or pass. Now they can pass and I will allow them to pass without rolling, but the peer pressure of the people playing before them is going to really encourage and really work the room. Now this works best when you have those super competitive people in the room and they want to play against each other. So they roll the dice, whatever number they get on their dice, that is the envelope that they get. So on the outside of all of those note card with the prizes inside envelopes, you're going to have a number. Now let's say one person rolls a six and another person rolls a six. You can decide either both people will get number six or they have to re roll until they get a number for an envelope that has not already been chosen. That's up to you. Um, the breakdown online that you'll find will tell you that what based on the odds which envelope to put in which number. So number two, snake eyes, is always the most difficult to roll by probability and chance. So you're going to put your grand prize in there. Now your grand prize should be something pretty grand. So I usually use a large utility to tote as my grand prize because that is something that everybody wants one of and if, and if they already have one, they need to have another. So they're going to likely play the game with you. So everybody rolls and they get their envelopes. Now they hang on to their envelope and they don't look at anything until everybody has that has wants to play gets their envelope. And then you say, before you open your envelopes, we're going to do a little deal or no deal. And then I give them the offer and I say, regardless of what's in your envelope, should you choose to book a party now before seeing it, you will automatically get and then tell them what prize they'll get. So I will then use the large utility tote or whatever my grand prize is. So if the large utility tote is too much money for you to spend on your business, that's fine. Use something else. Maybe it's a little carry-all caddy. Maybe it is a um, surprise gift of $25 in value or more that's something that you already have at home. Maybe it's something you're gonna take out of your display kit and give to them so you can replace it with something you'd prefer to have instead. The possibilities are endless. So the nice thing is that you're giving this, this little piece of chance before they open their envelopes because in reality their envelope could say book a party and we know that because we've explained all of that to them before the party begins all of those instructions are going to be laid out on what you find on google as far as how to play the dice game for direct sales or home parties so you're having those conversations, you're working the crowd, you're trying to decide, am I gonna book a party before I open my envelope? What if it says book a party? I may as well get the free gift and book the party. So once they make their decision, they can't go back. So if they've decided, yes, I'm gonna book a party regardless of what my envelope says, yay, congratulations. When they open their envelope, Nine times out of 10, it says book a party, so they're feeling pretty relieved because they're gonna automatically get something for hosting that party because they chose the deal or no deal. If they didn't choose the deal before opening and they still get book a party, I still hold them to it. That's part of the game. If they were to get a lottery ticket from me and they scratched off a winning lottery ticket, they wouldn't give it back, right? They would keep it. So I always use that analogy as well when I'm working with them. I really usually don't have an issue when I play this game with people not following through. There's always gonna be one that doesn't follow through, but I will really work really hard with that person to overcome those obstacles of why they think they might not be able to have a party. Almost everyone can turn a 
canceled booking into an online party and at least give it a shot. If nothing else and you don't get any sales from it, perhaps you'll make some new connections and add some more people to your customer group on Facebook. So I don't party a lot or I don't do bookings a lot at parties, the party games, um, but when I do, those are the two I like to choose from.